Hi guys, it's Stacia here, and it's been a long ass time, hasn't it? It's been a pretty fucking long time. Um, I have had a lot of stuff happen, and maybe I'll do a video about that someday in the future. But, anyway, um, I haven't filmed in so long, and I'm going to look at the viewfinder, like, every five seconds. I'm sorry, I apologize in advance. But anyway, I did, like, a huge Ulta haul. I've still been, like, crazy about makeup, and I've really been loving it and everything. And... So I've been buying a lot of makeup still, even though I'm not like video recording it, what I buy and everything. Um, but I recently did like an order on Ulta, and Ulta is my favorite store. Can we just talk about that? But, um, Ulta is incredible. I just love it. Um, maybe I'll do a separate video on that. We don't need to do talk about that right now. But before we get into this haul, this massive haul of Ulta stuff, as you can see. Um, I'm going to try to post more consistently. I really love doing this, and I know that I just don't do it enough, and I really love doing it, and now that I have kind of this, like, area here, I know this is, like, this is, like, all of the whole house, <laughs> pretty much, but anyway, um, I'm really going to try and do it again. Um, I really do love it, so please subscribe if you like me, or if you don't, then I don't care. But anyway, um, subscribe. Leave this video a thumbs up. If you like Ulta. If you like Ulta, give this video a thumbs up. I mean, who doesn't fucking love Ulta? Anyway, on to the haul, shall we? Um, first I got a bag. If you spent so much money, you got like a bag of samples. And I think they kind of spilled out, some of them. So let me like, see if I can... Okay. I think that's a majority. You're going to see the box in the corner. I'm sorry. It's just it's a huge box. Anyway, so this legging came with like a bunch of samples. First of all, you get this huge like blue bag and it says Ulta Beauty on it. But it's this really pretty like bag. Like, I don't know. I do like it. Um, you got a cover FX, a prefer perfecting, perfecting primer for an airbrushed finish. But I haven't tried this yet. Anything I don't like, I tend, or I know I won't use, I tend to put into a little bag and I do a giveaway with those things. So, future giveaway possible. Um, this is another thing. It's called the Ahava and this smells really good. It smells like, like, I don't know. It smells like flowers. My boyfriend really likes it too, but it is nice. I do like it. And there's a lot of product in here. So, kind of surprised by that. We get a... Cabrow. It's too light for me, but I do use it on lighter makeup days when I don't want my brows to be as dark as this. This is the Ico London Skinny, and it's really like a fat like marker. I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I think I've gotten this in Ipsy before, and mm. and then I got this Garnier Moisture Balm Skin Active Moisturizer, and I do like this. My favorite moisturizer, actually, is kind of sitting over here and it's this one by l'oreal paris let me just i dropped it on the floor or else i tell you a little more about it but um it's the antioxidant super moisturizer and it feels very similar to that it's like a gel it's really nice i got the genius ultimate anti-aging eye cream that's by alchemist you can see that um it's nice it's got a really weird texture like mm, i don't know hard to explain. I got the Lipstick Queen lipstick in mauve sinner. And you get a lot in this sample. Like, look how big that is. Like, holy crap. And I'll just do a swatch for you. Ignore the other swatch of my hand. That's eyeliner. But yeah, it just looks like that. It's like a really pretty mauve pink color. I do like that a lot. I've never owned anything by Lipstick Queen. And then the next thing we got, I'm sorry I'm going fast. There's just so much in here and I don't want you to be here all day. Um, the other one is by this Butter London Oh My How High Mascara. And I've tried this and I like it a lot. A lot, a lot actually. It is pretty darn nice. The next thing we got are these underarm deodorant things. I'm putting these in a giveaway. I've already tried those and they are pretty nice. Um, this Jack Black Performance Remedy Termo Wash. I guess this is probably for men. But it's for your skin and your hair. Um, I'm probably going to put that in a giveaway. I'm not 100% sure. The next thing is this Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Fresh Cut Split and men men Mender? Mender. And, um, I haven't tried this. I've smelled it, and it smells good. I just don't think I'll use it. I think I got a little bad me. I don't think I'll use it, so I think I'll put that in a giveaway also. 
There's also this Tory Burch Love Relentlessly Eau de Perfume Roller Ball. And it's actually a pretty big size. And I'm not a fan of the way this smells. It smells very woody. And I'm just not a woody scenting, scenting person who likes that. So that is definitely going in a giveaway also. And then this one. The K KMS Hair Play Molding Paste. And it looks like this. I don't use anything like that going in a giveaway. So... There's this little things for giveaway. Subscribe for future things. I love doing giveaways. I love giving away things. I recently got this big like box bag of all kinds of giveaways and I gave it to one of my friends at work who has a daughter who loves makeup and she loved it. So I love giving away my makeup that I don't use because I have a lot of it actually. So subscribe for future giveaways if I've said that a thousand times already also if you want to look at that picture I have it on my Instagram linked below um, the other thing I got is a skin truffle anti-aging regenerative cream it's all right Mario Badescu glycolic acid toner I haven't tried it yet but I do like toners I think that's all the samples <laughs> okay whoo that's a lot of fucking samples jeez I got a lot of stuff is that is there's a that's not even part of the haul what the heck can I have boxes in here I am a giant mess if you guys haven't noticed giant fucking mess so follow me I'll make you feel so much better at your life um I'm just kind of cleaning out this box because it's giant so I don't want to have all this on here okay First thing I got, this Jimmy Choo perfume. As you can see, I've used this a whole bunch because I love this. Like, it smells so good. It's kind of floral, but it's also fresh, and it's just beautiful. And I love the bottle. It's gorgeous. This is expensive. Like, it's like $55, and then the bigger size, the bigger you go, the more expensive it gets. So, just warning you, it is freaking expensive. But Ulta has a good point system. So, if you want to, like, save up your points and buy this, I recommend it. It smells so good. And a lot of times when you spend so much money you can get bag bought samples like this or when you spend so much on a perfume they'll give you like a free bag so I do like that a lot um another random thing is I got this wet the new wet n wild release new um highlighting powders the make a glow highlighting powders and this is one of them this is in blossom glow and it's just look how glowy it looks in the pan but it's just kind of a pink glowy um kind of color though we will use this to put a little swatchy swatch on my hand I'm sorry if the lighting is weird I really only am going off of um, natural light how pretty is that like it's just so pretty I know most people don't put their highlight on with like an eyeshadow brush but you gotta do what you gotta do honey anyway um, the next thing I did is I got a bunch of the Fiona Styles makeup. Um, Fiona Styles is currently, I think, in the process of not being sold at Ulta anymore, which is sad because I love Fiona Styles. The packaging on this stuff is just gorgeous. Like, I just love this stuff. But they are working on in the process of finding a new seller for them, so I thought that it would be okay to show you guys this stuff. Um, this is a lipstick. I think it's a matte lipstick. Significant Soft signature read station read signature soft matte lip color and these are really pigmented and this one is in lookout and it's kind of like a blue toned pink it's really pretty I like this a lot um, it's not what I'm wearing on my lips today though oh it doesn't look similar at all um, and then I got oh no where did the other one go I'm missing one here and I don't know where it is it's it happens to be the one I wore today. It's on my face. Are you kidding me? Oh, there it is. Found it. <laughs> I got three of the soft cheek veils, and I think Jeffree Star actually talked about these, but I do love them. This one is in Maiden Lane, and it is kind of a peachy kind of color. I'll swatch all of these so you guys can see them. But it's kind of a peachy color. This one has some golden shimmer in it. Really pretty. The next one is Imperial. I thought it would be much more pink. Um, more purpley, I mean. And it is 
definitely more brown and red toned. Um, I use this as a bronzer sometimes. Um, not gonna lie. However, when you do put this on and you swatch it and you do more light wash, it does look a little bit more reddish pink. So it's not too bad. And then my favorite one is called Sweet Water. And as you can see, it's just a very light, light pink. My hands are covered in swatches. I got little, little wipeys. Wipey wipes here. I'll try and get one out. These smell so good. They smell like watermelon and I love them. But anyway, my hand, I'm going to wipe off my hand really quick. I'll keep the two blushes on there, but go. And then this one is in, this one is sweet water, like I said. And it's very hard to see. You do have to build it up. I'm wearing it on my cheeks today and I know it's a lot. I love a strong blush color. And here they are. I'm an awful swatcher. Sweet water is down the bottom, right there. Very light pink. This one is Maiden, this one's Imperial, sorry, and this one's at Maiden Lane, much more peachy. I don't know if it's, it might be hard for you to see, very sorry, but they are beautiful. They are very smooth, very soft. Um, two of our matte, the Maiden Lane one that's more peachy is pink, uh, is shimmery, and I do like it, but yeah, I think they're gorgeous. The next one I got is this Artist Quad in Electra, and as you can see it has a purple a brown, a kind of like sparkly taupe shade, and a red color. And I love this quad also. The only thing is it smells bad. And I don't know if that's going to make me want to throw it away because it kind of smells rotten. I don't know. Ooh, did I get eyeshadow on my nose? It kind of smells rotten and I don't know if that's because of it just naturally smells like that or what. But, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to swatch them for you. The taupe shade, the brown. These are kind of stiff eyeshadows. So, they do feel kind of stiff in the pan. But they go on the eyes beautifully. So, I don't want you guys to think, like, when you swatch these, that they're like, oh, so bad. Because they just swatch awfully. They do, they do, not, they do swatch a little funny. Um, the red, the purple, the brown, and that taupey color, which is really pretty. I'm wearing the taupey color on my bottom lash line today. Um, I, because it kind of matched the eyeliner I was wearing, which I can't talk about, because I'm going to talk about it in a haul coming up soon. And then the last thing I got, which I don't exactly understand, it is the Light Illusion Prism Palette. And I don't really understand this. If you guys own this palette, please, please tell me what you do with it. This is kind of like a brown, kind of bronzery shade. The middle is kind of a highlighty kind of color and then a pink one, which I would use as a blush. And that's what these look like. Oh, I got a little bit of some bronzer in that pink shade. Let me re-swatch that. But, like, I don't know. They're very... Excuse me, I'm so sorry. This one is like kind of like a bronzer, and I do sometimes use it as a bronzer, but I'm not a huge bronzer user. So I don't know. I don't know. I haven't really found a good use for this. I think it's gorgeous. It's got fing it does show finger smudges like no other. They're all metallic closure, which I think is just stunning. It's so stunning. Um, I just feel super rich when I have it. I'm just like, mm, yeah, that's right. Oh, I dropped my towel. Literally. If you hate it when someone is in a video and they just drop things constantly, stop watching my videos. It's awful. I, want, I just drop everything. Next thing. Um, I got this on Shale. Shale. And it might still be on sale on Ulta. If I find it, I'll link it down below. This is the Urban Decay Shadow Box. And they probably still sell this on the Urban Decay website. And... Um, this is just what it looks like. You open it up and it just has these really pretty all shimmery eyeshadows. I like, well one of them is Blackout which is like the famous black by Urban Decay. And I like that they have the names on the back of the boxes and they also have the names on here. Which I think is beautiful and it also has this like emblem here that like detaches. Do you see that? It's just gorgeous. Um, I really love the color Mushroom like... It's almost like dual chrome. Ugh, it's so pretty. But yes, if you want to see a video about this, I don't even know if it, if I can find it and whatnot. I will, but it's just, it's a really pretty palette. It's gorgeous, especially if you like to play with fun colors like this green here, or this blue, or this, oh, this purple, this is blue. And then you'll love this. I do like having these, like, pops of color. I'm looking at myself in the mirror. <laughs> I do love having this because it's like pops of color and it's just gorgeous. So 
10 out of 10 would recommend. I only paid $18 for this. So if you can get on Ulta and buy it right away, like girl, would recommend. It's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Gorgeous. I'm a weirdo. I also, I love the Dolly Buxom. Um, Dolly is my favorite. And I own that, actually. It's in my purse behind. Oh, it's over here. It's in my purse. It's right here. Um, I have the Buxom full-on lip cream in Dolly, and I love it. But they also have a full-on lip, well, full, is it full-on lip polish or whatever? They have the Buxom lip polish in Dolly also. And if you don't know what Dolly looks like, it's essentially a mauve -y one. This one has some, some shimmer in it. And they plump your lips. They feel really cool on your lips. And this is what this one looks like. I love sample size lip products. Um, I also have this lip cream in Sultry Mauve, which I actually now own in a full size. Thank you, TJ Maxx. Just saying. That'll be in a haul here soon. So subscribe if you love TJ Maxx hauls because it's coming up, baby. It's coming up. And then this one is in Dolly Danger, I believe. Yes, this lip liner is in Dolly danger so here's the lip liner here's that lip cream and then there's the lip gloss and dolly i love these i love little sample kits like this only 20 dollars, and you get all three of these and i don't know if i'll even ever finish these so you know it's really nice although i do love dolly the dolly line by buxom love 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 that's awesome and then I also got this Celestial Models Own Glitter Lip Kit, which I thought the glitter that I was getting was red. I was kind of disappointed when I saw this. Like, mm, they do have a red one, and they also have a, right one, a white one, so I'll have to go in and get the red one. But I was disappointed. I thought this was going to be like the um, Tattoo Junkie. The Tattoo Junkie one where they have the lip liner and they have the they have the liquid lipstick and then the, the glitter that you put over it. And this is not like that. You get like a glitter glue, a glitter setting gel, and then you get a little brush right here and then you get the glitter. And it comes in this little kit like this. And I've tried it and it's alright. I just feel like it would be better if you had a color underneath it rather than the clear, um, the clear glitter setting gel or whatever it's called. But look at the packaging. It's so cute. It has a little like... A unicorn on it I love it do not ingest perform patch test prior to first application that's nice it scares me <laughs> anyway um, I do like that we'll continue on with the makeup revolution trend and we will show you this this is the makeup revolution triple baked highlighter look at the front I saw Tati using this if I'm being honest I saw Tati using this recently and I was like I want it. Look how gorgeous that is. It has the purple, blue, the green, the yellow, and the little pink. And it is so stunning. However, I find that a lot of these rainbow highlighters are exactly the same because of the fact that once you mix it all together, it just comes out very blue. And it's still gorgeous. Like, don't get me wrong. It is still so stunning very very highlighty but it's, again it's a very just cool tone blue highlighter it is incredibly powdery though I don't know if you can see the dust that flies off it is incredibly powdery so if you don't like that but if you just put some setting spray on your face after you're done it should set everything down pretty nicely and I do like this a lot and I think it's just gorgeous it looks like Too Faced packaging didn't say that I didn't say it it is the Ulta and Melissa Michelle palette collaboration and it's really cool. It comes with the highlighting trio when swirled magic happens. Blush shade works with every look. Five matte eyeshadows, four metallic eyeshadows, and a matte liquid lipstick, a pink toned nude. And it looks like this. It comes with a nice mirror. I don't know if I kind of flash that at you. It comes with a nice mirror. And it comes with this. Um, I'm not... Gosh darn it. See, I told you. Dropping things is what I do. I don't think that this nude is really um, pink toned like it says, but at first I want to give them props for putting this little ribbon in. I have another Ulta palette that has none of those ribbons, and it is a pain in the arse to get anything out of it. But the Lixit lip, it, the lip is really nice, but it's just, I don't know if it's really a pink toned nude. Uh... I don't know, it's much more brownie to me, kind of orange in my opinion. I don't think I'll wear that, 
but I'll keep it in the palette just so it's a complete little set. I'm going to take it out though so it doesn't like fall everywhere while I'm trying to show you guys everything. This is the blush and I love the blush. It's in a heart shaped. It's so cute. And then this has like the three highlighters. They look very similar even on the finger. Yeah, they are pretty much the same thing. Um, they say they're different, but girl. Girl, day. this is just a very kind of golden um, golden highlighter. I'm going to wipe that off my hand. Um, I love this blush. I've worn this blush multiple times. It's kind of a nudie red blush, and it is very gorgeous. I do love this blush a lot. A lot, a lot. I do like it. But the eyeshadows are pretty nice. I find that some of them don't have as much pigmentation as I would like. Like this one, it looks good on your finger, and then you put it on your hand, and it just kind of like... I don't know. It's kind of see-through, so I wasn't super thrilled about that, but I think I'm going to do a separate review on this palette anyway and just kind of give you guys an overlook of it, but that is this Michelle palette. I do really like it, though. I also got the Carly Bible palette. Um, this is the deluxe one. I do not own the original Carly Bible palette. This is the first one I got, and it has a huge mirror on it, which I quite enjoy, and then it has this. It has the six highlighters here and the shit ton of eyeshadows. I don't even know how many it is. I didn't count. 15? 15 eyeshadows. And I really love this one and I really love this one. Beautiful. 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 It's just 10 out of 10. Really good. They have really good eyeshadows. Really nice. The staying power is not as much as I would like, if I'm being honest. I just find that after a few hours of wear, I feel like they're kind of faded and they're not on there as well as they were before. This is a really beautiful palette. The highlight is also beautiful from this. Uh, before I put that Wet n Wild uh, highlighter on, I had this one on. Yes. But the only thing that bugs me, I'm, I'm going to save this for a separate video also. I want to do a separate video on this one as well, talking about it, and I'll tell you what bugs me. Stay tuned. Stay tuned, girl. Um, next thing I got is the Laura Geller Balance Brighten and... Balance and Brighten Foundation. Now, this has a pretty substantial dip in it already because I used the shh out of this stuff. I love, 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 love this foundation. I think it is gorgeous. It's like a very pink toned highlight, uh, highlight face powder. And it just is my skin tone. And I love the way this looks. Like, I know that, like, powder foundations can sometimes be obviously kind of powdery. But this one, once you put on a, um... Once you put on a setting spray, it just sets it down so nicely. It looks so good. Um, I first got this from Hot Look, and you can still occasionally get it on Hot Look. Um, but it'll come in a kind of tan package, not a black one like this. So when if you buy it off of Hot Look and you get the tan package, don't be freaked out that they're different. They are the same, just different packaging. Last thing, and not least, that I got that I absolutely have fallen in love with is... I should show you the front first. It's dirty because I have, ever since I've gotten it, I have just been using and abusing it. This is by the J-Cat J -Cat Beauty, and it is the Sunset Boulevard palette. And it looks a lot like the Morphe casings. But once you flip it inside, you get, I don't know how many, 24 eyeshadows. These bottom 12 here are shimmers, and the top here are matte. And it ha it is kind of reminiscent of a certain palette I have, a high-end palette, and I will have to tell you. I want to give you a little sneak peek of how pigmented these are, though. Let me find one. See this gold here? I know golds are usually pretty pigmented, so let's do this red one. One finger across. Look at that. Oh my god. It's crazy. It is a little crumbly, and I even swatched that. They are a little crumbly, but once you get past that, these shadows are stunning. I'm also going to do a review on this also, so I shouldn't talk too much about it, but I just get so excited because these are phenomenal. And I think that's really all that I have. Um, I have a new Instagram where I try to post a lot about my beauty and stuff like that that I buy and stuff that I want to share with you guys. And it's called Simply Stacia. Is it Simply Stacia 95 or Simply Stacia? Let me look real quick, girl. <laughs> I forget. Like, I have two Instagrams. One is my main account and 
Um, what is my main account, which is this one here, which has like, it's just Stacia Terrell and it has like all my pictures on it. And then the other one is, it's simply Stacia's and I post all about makeup on here and I haven't put, I have quite a few posts on here already. I have two new likes, oh my gosh. I don't have a lot of followers because I am not popular at all, but that is okay. But if you want to know more about what's on my face, stay tuned because I'm going to do soon, I'm going to do a new haul that's going to be freaking awesome. And it's super popular on YouTube right now, so you never know. You might love it. Um, I'm getting, like, closer to the camera as time's going on, like. Anyway, I'm sorry. Awkwardness. Um, I think that's it. That's all I got from Ulta recently with that haul anyway. I have other stuff that I purchased from Ulta, but. Ulta. I have other stuff that I purchased from Ulta, but not recently enough to put it in that haul so no but I'm gonna do another haul soon I don't know if I'll record it right after this or not but I will at some point so if you'd like to see that subscribe I know I've said that a shit ton in this video but <laughs> my bad guys I'm really sorry about that but you should subscribe cause pretty cool I'm pretty cool you know anyway I'll see you guys later um I think I'm going to film in front of that um, picture over there because I love that picture. But anyway, um, I will see you guys later. Bye.